my account. It's just in a different bank. It's not the Bank of America. It's not Wells Fargo. It's not Citibank or Chase. It's the Bank of Allah. <laughs> That's the bank. And it, it's far more than FDIC insured. Right? So it'll give you your returns and then some on top. You know? So it's actually an act that, and this is by the way, this can only happen if you believe in the unseen. You can only spend for the sake of Allah and spend and give sadaqah and help somebody out and not think about what you have left in the bank if two things are clear to you. Number one, ma naqasa malum min sadaqah. When you give, money doesn't decrease. That's the promise of the Prophet ﷺ. Money does not go down when you give sadaqah, when you give charity. In other words, when you're gonna give, Allah will replace with better. You want a promotion? Give sadaqah. You're not getting enough, enough savings? Give sadaqah. Allah will open more doors for you. That's the promise of Allah. That's one part of the belief. The other part of the belief is actually even deeper. And that is that when we are giving, you're not giving to an orphan. You're not giving to people, flood victims or earthquake victims. You're not giving to a masjid. You're actually giving to Allah. You see here Allah says, وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ But لَمْ يَقُلْ يُنْفِقُونَ عَلَى الْيَتَامَى You know, عَلَى الْمَسَاكِينَ عَلَى الْفُقَرَاءَ He doesn't say, spend on what? He just says they spend. But actually realize that the spending that we do, this is why Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha, every time she used to give sadaqah, she used to put perfume on it. She used to put perfume on it before she gave sadaqah. And that's why. Because she says, I'm sending it to Allah. I'm sending it to Allah. She's giving, every time you give charity, it's actually an act of giving to Allah Himself, subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, that idea I want to expand upon a little bit before we go any further. Think about it this way. The, you know, I'll give an example I used to give many, many years ago, but it's still relevant. I find it beneficial. Sure. Your kids go to somebody else's house. They've got a toy. You know, the kids are awesome. Kids never play with their own toys. Never play with their own toys. The only time they play with their own toys is if somebody else's child is there. <laughs> then they say, this, kid, this toy is so awesome, it's mine. As soon as that kid is gone, they throw it away again like... <laughs> they just want to make that guy feel bad. So that kid keeps begging, can I play with it? Can I have a turn? Can I have a turn? Can I have a turn? And finally he hands him the Avenger or whatever. And he plays with it for two seconds. Then it's time to go home. And the kid who had the, who's borrowed the toy, does he let go easily? He says, can I keep it? Their mom said I could keep it. <laughs> you know. Human nature, from childhood onwards, is when we are given things that are not ours. We're given things that are not ours. Very quickly we forget that they're not ours. We start assuming, imagining, we forget that part that it was given to us, we start imagining that it belongs to ourselves. That's, that it actually doesn't belong to someone else. And we want to hold on to it. And when someone wants to take it from us, we're like, no, no, mine, mine, mine. What does Allah Azza wa Jal do? Allah Azza wa Jal could have said, وَيُنْفِقُونَ And they spend. But he says, مِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ From what we provided them. We're the ones who give, you forget that. You forget that it's not yours. The clothes I'm wearing aren't mine. The money in the bank isn't mine. The car I'm driving is not mine. I say all the time, my shirt, my car, my wallet, my account, my house. I use the word my so, t so many times, that I forget that it's actually the belonging of Allah. So much so that my body, my eyes, my ears, my nose, inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi raji'un. We ourselves belong to Allah. From whatever little Allah has given me, I will come forward. This is why Allah says later on in the Quran, infiru khifafan wa thiqalan. Come forward, light or heavy. Doesn't don't ever underestimate what you have to give. <laughs>